Hello friends, today we are installing a reverse camera in a Mercedes Sprinter van. That's a quite big van. So it's not really that difficult to install a reverse camera in this van. You just have to take out this number player, this number player top and uh, really easy to do that you first have to remove this panel here so they just got this clips here so you just need a pry tool take that off and you'll get access to two screws one is at this side here one is at this side and then you can pry this out i drill a hole here pass this wire through under using the already drilled hole in there <sighs> then I'll pass this camera wire through here so you just use a guide wire to pass through this grommet here then this panel comes off easily just this pops out and uh, you can run a wire along this plastic panel here so a bit tricky up here once you get here you probably have to remove these two screws here and uh, pass this wire underneath here from top side and pass it through under here and you'll get some space here then you can pass it directly through using that guide wire and see i got my wire here now i'll run it along this panel here underneath and i'm thinking to put my lcd either this side or the other side but i'll show you where i'm gonna get my supply just stay with me so I'm thinking to put my LCD on top here I now have to open this sometime if a driver using this space and it seems like they're already using it but because it's quite big 7 inch LCD so I can't put on this corner but if you have something a bit smaller you can put in this area here so I'm just make sure it's not going to block your view and if we go on this corner here that's gonna be a bit far from the driver's side so I guess uh, yeah, as driver requested as well I'm gonna install on this top panel here still able to open it up and yeah there is gonna be a bit wire there as well in between so it's not gonna be a really best installation but yeah sometimes we have to compromise somewhere so first i'm going to remove this panel it's quite easy you just need a pry tool start from top and bring it along it just pops out So as you can see this wire we ran it along under this rubber here and from here we pass it through and got it here. So now from here I'll use uh, fuse number 13 as you can see I already took it out. So fuse number 13 is the actually cigar socket fuse there and uh, yeah we'll take supply for lcd from that fuse so whenever our ignition will on the lcd will comes up and the other thing we also going to connect our camera with that supply as well so it's gonna be on all the time whenever your car is in it you'll be able to see it back so yeah we already removed our head unit just after removing first 
panel you have to take out four screws your head unit will be out so this form is actually blocking the way here but behind that form you can pass your wire easily which we already got here using the guiding wire and uh, yeah we'll just now make the final connection we'll put i'll drill a small hole in here and in here to pass through the wire for lcd and then we'll connect the camera and the power and i'll show you the end results so finally it's all done the camera and uh, Here's the LCD. So it's, yeah, it's really good result. And uh, yeah, at the end I'll just recommend that at least use 10 meter long wire. If you are going to install in this way, same as I did. And uh, yeah, and you'll be good to go. I still can open this uh, it's not that big room still like you can take your stuff off and you can put your stuff in there thanks for watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you